there's a hint of spring in the air at the Oxford Gun Company, and the shooters are out tackling the Cogswell & Harrison February Challenge. The competition runs throughout February, and there's a £4,500 prize fund, with a Cogswell & Harrison gun to be won in each of three categories – ladies, under-21s, and open. The Oxford Gun Company team have put on a testing 100-bird sporting course over 12 stands that you can shoot any time during the month. As well as the guns, there are weekly prizes of 250 Rio cartridges to be won in each category too. Today, we've got a couple of clay shooting celebrities tackling the course. Top sporting shooter Chris Childerhouse and Tom Scott, the young shot who won the car in last year's Schools Challenge final. They've attracted the attention of the local TV station, That's Oxford TV, who've sent along a reporter to cover the event. Tom's enjoying the course, but he's a bit out of practice. Since winning that car, he's been concentrating on double trap. Yeah, it's a good course. Yeah, some interesting targets. Uh, the weather's been all right today. It's a bit chilly, but um, wind's affecting a few targets. But yeah, it's a really good course. So um, yeah, it's gone well. Yeah, I didn't score actually that well, to be honest. So uh, uh, yeah, I got 78, which is not too bad, but I'd like to get into the 80s. Um, so, but anyway, yeah, I haven't been really shooting sporting that much. I've been shooting double trap this year. My eventual aim is to get to try and get to the Olympics. Um, so yeah, I just I just find it well. It's uh, it's not obviously as varied as sporting. You have got three targets um, and three different schemes you follow. Um, but yeah, I just, I just enjoy the competitive side. Um, so I'm just trying to improve from there, get into the GB team maybe this year next year. So, but after this year, I'll have a much clearer path. To see where I need to improve because I only shot one selection shoot last year. So it's my first year doing it. So this year I'm going to go to all three. Um, and then see where we go from there. It's, it's not technically hard, but it's trying to iron out all the imperfections that occur whilst you're shooting, um, which then obviously adds on to your score because it's such a fine line between winning and losing. You could shoot, someone could shoot a 29 and win and someone could shoot 26 not make the final. So you, you just don't know. You've just got to try and iron out all the imperfections whilst shooting. So it's practice, practice, practice. Yeah, it's quite hard to try to do A-levels um, as well, but I've just got to try and do all my work during the week and then I shoot at the weekend, so. Chris has been on form lately, but even he's finding some of the targets a bit tricky. Yeah, it's quite a good little course, quite a lot of close stuff, and there's a, there's a few tricky sounds. You've got a long midi teal and a horrible little mini going away fast. Yeah, well, you do keep yourself and miss something, don't you? Um, if you miss a, miss a hard one, you don't mind so much, but you know you've got to, when, there's, when you're chasing a score down, um, you, know, you know you need all the clays, you, you know you can't miss any easy ones and uh, I did miss a couple, of, a couple of floppers as I call them and uh, that probably cost me in the end. I shoot really quick as I said to you before and um, it gives you an advantage when you get a sim pair, obviously like if you get a sim pair of teal going away from you, if you can shoot the first one really quick, uh, then the second one's normally still rising where you can shoot it, whereas other people have to shoot the second one on the drop and it can be, it can be probably 50, 60, 70 yards but it just all depends on the target so it, it is an advantage a lot of the time. To be honest with you, if you can shoot it on the way up, you've got a bit more margin for error because obviously the bird's under power. If you're trying to shoot that, that midi teal probably was peaking at probably 60 yards away and to kill, kill that consistent at 60 yards is, is, is going to be very tricky. Um, if you can shoot it at 40 yards under power, um, then you know, you've, got a bit more, you've got a lot more margin for error really. So that's why I try and do it. Um, you know, so that's, the, that's, that's the way I shoot really. So you had a fast one from the right and a slow one from the left. Um, the other people on the squad shot the slow one first, which was probably the wrong way around because the other one had gone. But obviously if you, if you shoot the other one first, the close one takes your eye. So you've got to focus on one killer and then the other one is just obviously straight at it. Um, but yeah, they definitely take your eye and it's, it's just a few years of experience to try and just focus on that one bird really. It's all a timing shot again. You've got to be in the right place with your gun to start with, kill the first one pretty quick and then the second one's just going away and just pretty much just sitting there. Just stalling, so it's just straight at it, really. Um, we just had a baby three weeks ago, um, and since we've had the baby, we've we're three hours night, uh, three hours sleep a night. I've shot, I think I've won three shoots out of the four I've shot, and uh, so maybe I'll shoot better with no sleep. Um, shot a 98 at Westfield yesterday, and that won that by a couple, and a 92 at Hornet, and I think that was joint high gun as well. So if you win two shoots in a day, you just take it. If you go to two and win two, it's uh, it's all good. You can't do much better than that, really. So reads me happy. Hopefully it spurred me on to do a bit more this year and try and do, do well in the majors and, and make the England team again. And uh, we'll just keep going along and say there's a lot on this year. There's a lot in this country. You've got the World Sport and the World Compact, all the other domestic titles. Um, there's loads more bigger shoots to do. So sort of from the end of this month, end of February, we'll be 
at a decent shoot every month, which is what we want to do. We want to compete for the better prizes and have your, all, all the shooters are there so you can see where you, where you are, really. What we need is the sport keeps growing. I mean, there's a lot more people shooting now, I think, than ever. And uh, it's what we need, you know, to go at decent prizes, what we want. We don't want to be stuck in 20 years ago, do we? It needs to move forward and uh, hopefully, hopefully it's going the right way. The prize they're all after is this, a Windsor over and under from Cogswell and Harrison, worth £1,100. We caught up with Martin Brennan, whose family firm in Ireland bought the Cogswell and Harrison name in 2008. We're an Irish-based uh, firearms distribution company. And uh, in 2008, uh, my family and uh, our company and myself bought uh, Cogswell and Harrison, which is uh, London's oldest gun maker. The business of Cogswell and Harrison can be traced back to uh, May of 1770, which is uh, almost 250 years ago. Uh, yes, as I say, it's London's oldest surviving gun maker. Uh, this is uh, the, the Windsor Sporter, a uh, nice uh, scroll engraving on the action. Specification, it's uh, a three inch chamber, uh, proofed to take steel shot. It's a multi-choke gun with uh, five chokes. This particular model has external chokes. It's a single trigger, it's a selective, um, it's ejector. And it also has a, a nice, uh, nice palm swell for, uh, the, again, more so designed for, uh, for sporting shooting. Uh, available in right hand stock and also left hand stock. And uh, this particular model has a 30 inch barrel. So good all round gun, good all round gun, so it is, yes. It's a, it's a very, I'm not being biased, but it is a very quality piece of kit at the, at the price that it is at. Good all round gun again for, uh, for sporting clays and also as with all sporting guns for uh, going rough shooting, pigeon shooting, any kind of shooting just as long as you're having fun. <laughs> so no, it's, it's very, very important to encourage the youth uh, in shooting. It's also important to encourage ladies. Um, there are a lot of ladies in the, last, in the latter few years in the UK who uh, are doing very well with shooting. A lot of uh, young ladies uh, partaking and quali you know, shooting now in the, in the Olympics coming up in, uh, in the summer. And uh, I think uh, the more ladies that get involved in shooting, the more ladies in general become aware that it's not a sport that's just uh, for, for, for men. It's not a, it's not a male dominant sport. We had a, a couple here this morning, a man and lady, uh, who were shooting together. And uh, as they said, uh, they used this as uh, their date day. I thought that was, I thought I was pretty cool. So uh, no, what, what we uh, want to achieve by working here and doing this, this uh, Cogswell and Harrison um, promotion for the month is, uh, well, it's to get the brand out there, brand awareness. We're actually, uh, with the Oxford Gun Company, uh, whoever wins the actual challenge gets one of these guns as a as first prize. Um, but it's also then not just to get it's to get the brand out there, number one. But it's more so to promote the sport of shooting, uh, and again to promote the sport of shooting and to entice the young people uh, and the ladies to uh, to come out and take part in it. The Cogswell and Harrison Challenge is on at the Oxford Gun Company until the 29th of February. Entry costs 45 pounds or £40 for members, and you get a discount voucher and a free pint at the Plough Inn at Wheatley. There's a Cogswell and Harrison shotgun to be won in each of the three categories, as well as cash prizes for second and third place. To find out more and book your entry, call the Oxford Gun Company on 01844 238 308 or go to oxfordguncompany.co.uk.